Hello, home chefs. I know you don't feel like chefs yet, but don't worry. I'll hold your hand and get you there, which is why I'm introducing a new series called Cooking 101, where I'll take you through a journey from basic to a good cook. A knife to a chef is like a hoe to a farmer. So in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to master knife skills. Most beginners to cooking either get intimidated or overlook the importance of having these skills. But trust me, it will save you a great deal of time, resources, and your fingers. You might be wondering, why learn? This will give you safety, uh, time management, a better test, and better appearance. The first technique I'm teaching you is slicing. You take the onion, divide it into parts, and with this rocking motion, you go down and up and down as you slice the onion. For you to get a full slice, you don't have to cut the onion. Just uh, peel the onion and just do the same as you slice down. For you to achieve a chopped onion, first cut the onion, again like I did before, then do slits vertically, then horizontally, then chop like this. So the next time they call for a chopped onion, uh, this is what you're supposed to be doing. To peel garlic easily, lay your knife flat on it and apply pressure. For the mincing technique, first slice, then chop in two smaller pieces, and then alternate the angle like this to achieve a fine mince. The technique I'll be showing you is a batonet. After peeling the carrot, divide it into three parts like this. Start by cutting one side to create a firm base, then do the same on the other three angles. The first base ensures that your vegetable is static to avoid accidents. If you don't do this, it will be wobbly and lead to cutting yourself. Now you have a rectangle. So the next step, slice the vegetable vertically in two medium-sized cuts and then proceed to make smaller long cuts to achieve the batone cuts. For you to do the dice, cut your vegetable horizontally, then make small cube-like shapes. A julienne is like a small batonet. For you to get it, make the cut smaller. Once you have a julienne like this, cut them into smaller parts to get a brunoise. Juliennes can be used in stir fry using vegetables like zucchini, carrots, even a potato. Brunoise can be used in um, vegetable rice and make very beautiful colors like this. Good job, guys. You're doing a wonderful job. You've learned all these knife skills today. So now I'm going to show you how to do a quick appetizer using the cuts that we've done. I'm using a baguette bread. Cut using a serrated knife or a bread knife. Don't press on the bread so that it doesn't lose its shape. Once you've cut the slices, put some oil so that it can toast. You can do the toasting on the pan or in the oven. If you're using an oven, put your bread in the oven for about five to 10 minutes, flipping it halfway. We are baking it on uh, 180 degrees. There's a toasted bread, then put some minced garlic, then put the tomato mixture on the bread. 
Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. Have you seen? We've done a bruschetta. It's uh, an Italian um, appetizer. And it is very simple. Anyone can do it. I told you this is a beginner's class. Mm, the olive oil, the crunch. Italians are really brilliant. This very simple uh, appetizer takes away, uh, puts your game uh, on the next level. And though you are a beginner, you can do something very nice. I can see, you see the colors are beautiful. If you have a friend and they want to start, especially the people that have been asking about my classes, this is your chance. Every, uh, this uh, series is going to be coming twice a month and uh, it's going to have all uh, simple things that beginners can do. So if you're a beginner or have a child who you want to teach, these are going to be very uh, elaborate, very simple for everyone. Goodbye, see you next week.